Hey guys, what's going on? This is Holy Hand Grenade, and for today's video, I'm kind of just showing some gameplay that I had in Battlefield Bad Company 2. And uh, basically all it was was the other team just could not get out of their spawn, and so eventually what ended up happening was this massive spawn trap of our entire team just demolishing their team, and they made some uh, valiant efforts to get out of their spawn, but none of them really did. You can see that we just keep racking up the kills, but this video is not about the gameplay, it's just kind of uh, supporting what I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video. And the focus of what I want to talk about would be the idea of like kill deaths and just a death in general in a video game. Now, one of the major stats that people focus on, like people who really take video games seriously, would have to be their kill death and like how many kills they have and who's the world number one on the kill leaderboard and score, you know, all of that stuff. Now, my opinion on your KD is that it has no, no actual justification to your skill in a game. I can tell you that, like, my KD when I first started Black Ops was, like, five, but now it's terrible because all I do is run around and just do what I want to do. If I want to have fun with a game, if I want to just, like, go around stabbing people the entire game, I'm obviously not going to have a high KD. But it's going to like reflect back in my leaderboards that I obviously did bad that game. And so people get this idea that you're bad and all that stuff from your KD. And that kind of brings me to why I'm using this gameplay. Because right here, I'm going to end up, like at the end of this game, I'm going to have like a 12 KD or something like that. And I'm really not doing anything that shows that I have any skill. I'm just sitting here in a tank mowing down people trying to get me. They spawn, live for two seconds, die again. Now, on a leaderboard... On paper, it's going to look that I have a lot of skill. I have a great KD, right? Well, to them, their scoreboards are going to look a lot worse because their KD is probably like .1 or something. And quite frankly, it's just a—it's kind of like a joke stat. Like, what is what is the kill-death ratio telling us about what kind of gamer we are? Um, if you were actually a very good um, player of objectives, you wouldn't be sitting there uh, getting a lot of kills. You'd be... You'd be obviously on the score leaderboard, which means a lot more than kills, but you obviously wouldn't have an insane amount of kills unless you're one of the uh, godlike YouTubers, as you see on Machinima. But, I mean, it's just kind of a joke that we take our kills so seriously. I don't know what you guys think. Leave a comment what your opinion on the, the kill death is, but right now it's just, uh, I, I kind of looked at this gameplay and I was like, wow, um... It, it's going to look like I did really well. I could have just posted a leaderboard and you would have never known what I actually did to get this kind of KD. But I'm just kind of not trying to, to uh, lie and say that, oh, I did so awesome. This is just kind of what happens. And with all that being said, what I kind of want to ask you guys for today's video is when does a game stop being a game? Like, when do we take a digital number and apply that to our skill, apply that to our level of fun, apply that to just our all-around gaming. If I'm number one on the leaderboard for being a tryhard, then what is it fun anymore? Is it an actual game, or is it just like taking over what we believe to be um, entertainment? And I'm kind of just talking about this because I have a couple couple friends that I used to play with that just kind of took this game way too seriously. They're, they're always the campers that uh, just go for the kills, try and get pretty little numbers on their leaderboards, but I mean, when does it when does it stop being an actual game? Why you're paying sixty dollars to compete for a number that means absolutely nothing? So yeah, what I want from you guys is to leave a comment on what you think, on what your opinion is on the whole KD thing about how a KD can represent someone's skill, uh, someone's better than another because of their KD, and also what your opinion is on when like a game becomes more than a game when it becomes so so, so much of a competition that it's more of a, of a joke than an actual game so do me a favor and leave a comment I'll make sure to reply to every single one and also I'm just gonna kinda deviate away from the whole topic now uh, what I've been working on the past couple of days would be my whole 1000 subscribers uh, huge video and it's pretty much a Battlefield Bad Company 2 montage. I kind of left a sneak peek of sorts up on my channel a few days ago. You can go check that out. I'll probably leave a link in the description. You can expect that out sometime this weekend, assuming I can actually get that done. 
but I definitely want to thank you guys all for helping me reach my 1,000 subscriber mark. That is crazy beyond belief, and I can't really just sit here and ramble off how happy I am for that, but I thank each and every one of you for that, and that's kind of why I'm spending so much time on this video I'm about to be putting out. But um, uh, do me a favor and post that comment. Rate this with a like, please. If you want to see more of these, kind of like me offering my input on some issues in FPSs like Battlefield and Call of Duty, you know. Uh, so hit that like button, please help me out. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favor and do that. And one more thing, if you can, follow me on Twitter. I will leave that description in the description. Well, whatever. And yeah, so until next time, guys, I am Holy Hand Grenade, and see ya!